check range of motion in the patient's hands and wrists. Ask the patient to make a fist, extend and spread his fingers, flex his wrists, and extend them, and move his hands laterally and medially. Now let's look at your hands. Inspect the patient's hands and wrists, noting any swelling, redness, nodules, deformities, or muscular atrophy. Now let's check each finger. Now palpate the medial and lateral aspects of each interphalangeal joint between your thumb and index finger, noting any swelling, bogginess, bony enlargement, or tenderness. To detect joint fluid more easily, feel for it with one hand while using the other hand to compress the joint anteroposteriorly. To detect tenderness in the metacarpophalangeal joints, squeeze the patient's hand between your thumb and fingers. Then examine each metacarpophalangeal joint. Place your thumbs just distal to the knuckle on each side of the extensor tendon. Your fingers should be on the head of the metacarpal in the palm. Note any tenderness, swelling, or bogginess. Next, palpate each wrist joint with your thumbs on the dorsum of the wrist and your fingers beneath it. 